it's our first show up here at, at St. Jacob on the Gold Coast, and so we really wanted to kick things off with a bang. Alrighty, we're up here on the Gold Coast at Runaway Bay and at the new office at Runaway Bay. We've got the St. Chico Boat Show coming up in a few days, um, which are right in the process of moving in and, and getting set up. And we're also in the process of giving the whole place a, a refit. You know, the, the opportunity came up late last year for us to acquire Game and Leisure Boats uh, off Graham McCoy, who was stepping into retirement. It was just a, an opportunity that we couldn't, couldn't pass up. Um, you know, given it's, it's always been a long-term goal of ours to not only expand our offering from Sydney to the Gold Coast, but also to, to represent the best brands in the world. And the fact that, you know, acquiring the, the business up here meant that, you know, we were, we were going to partner with brands like Viking and Valhalla and Regal. It was just, um, yeah, it was just something that we couldn't, couldn't pass up. So it is the next chapter of, of Short Marine. One of the things that we're looking at bringing up here is, um, is the service offering, you know, on the service side of things. And so we've got a new super experienced service manager we've just put on board. We've got a really good Yamaha tech that started with us now. We've got a detailer and we're we'll looking at adding electrician and ship right down the track as well. And then we've got amazing facilities here too. We've got a, you know, a huge uh, 60 foot shed around the side that, um, you know, we can do all the haul outs and the anti fouls and things as well. It's all coming together really nicely. We definitely have a few big months ahead of us still in, in, in building everything out, but we're super excited by it all and especially by the St. Jacob boat ship. It's the night before the boat show. Um, we're just in the final stages of putting the sort of finishing touches on, on all the boats. Um, been a little bit chaotic today, but it wouldn't really be a, a boat show if it wasn't. Um, but to be honest, all in all, super, super happy with, with, with how things are. We've got you know, more boats on display here than we've ever had uh, before. It's our, it's our first show up here at, at St. Jacob on the Gold Coast, and so we really wanted to kick things off with a bang. You know, we managed to actually get the, the Regal 38 SAV here. Um, you know, in, in, just in the nick of time, I think it arrived um, on the ship this morning. We got it to our place at Runaway Bay at 2 p.m. with the gates shutting here at 3.30. And so we managed to just get all the wrapping off, get the fuel in the boat and whatnot, and managed to just make it in the nick of time. Despite all the chaos today, and we're still sort of putting the finishing touches on everything, um, super happy with how things are and, and uh, can't wait to get stuck into it tomorrow. Day one, St. Jacob Boat Show. It's been a steady, Steady start to the show, really kind of just hoping that this rain holds out. But um, anyway, yeah, really, really happy how everything, you know, finished up, finishing touches on things this morning. We've got a really good display of boats here, good, really good representation of each of the, each of the brands, be it Grady White, uh, Valhalla, Regal and Capelli. Thought it'd be good just to give you a little bit of a, a tour over each boat. Um, starting down here with the Valhalla 37, which Ryan's sitting on actually. The first Valhalla in the country, the Valhalla 37, built by the world's leading sports fishing boat manufacturers, Viking Yachts, over in the US. The owners recently purchased it down in Sydney. We've had it fitted out with, with the release marine helm chairs, electric teaser, reels up in the hard top. We've put a Sea Keeper gyro in, a Garmin fit out, including radar and fleur and yeah they're, they're renowned as the Rolls Royce of sports fishing centre consoles in the world there's nothing quite comes close or tops it in terms of its sea caping ability seaworthiness and, and its ride and I don't think there'd be a quicker boat in the country out to the shelf. Right, and then so next to that we've got the Capelli 40 which is really just the ultimate day boat um, you just look at it you know the, the lounging areas and the amount of seating space 2425s on the back of it it's a it's a rocket ship but it's also just a really really practical uh, day boat. And then next to that we've got the Regal 38 SAV which as we sort of mentioned managed to make it here just in the nick of time um, but this just yeah super super popular model got a lot of really good interest you know so far already given the fact that it's you know you can fish out of it but it's also just got all those luxuries and features that you want in a in a, in a really good day boat cruiser as well and next to that we've got the regal 29 obx you know these these type of bow rider boats particularly with the outboards on the back um, there's a huge shift over to the outboards in the US for this style of boat, um, just for their, obviously their, their simplicity and benefits that they have from a maintenance point of view in comparison to the inboard stern drives. Um, really popular boat, particularly up around here on the Broadwater. Um, 
Moving on, we've got the small uh, Capelli BR65. So this is actually one of the first of its kind. It's a bow rider rib. So obviously the ribs are super, super popular um, at the moment. Really good entry level boat for people particularly. Um, but to get this bow rider style and this sort of layout where, you know, it's got this amount of seating and, and it often comes with a retractable shade, it's a, um, it's a really popular model as well. And then on the end here, we've got the Grady White 325 Freedom. So again, another super popular model. Uh, it's actually our second most popular model out of, out of the range. What Grady White is traditionally known for, it's got everything you need to and would want in a, in a, in a serious fishing boat, if you want to do that. But then the layout, that, that it, the way how it's set up, um, it just really makes it the ultimate day boat. And it's got a heap of things like this retractable shade that you know goes back, retracts into the hard top and you know, similar, a lot of seating. It's a, uh, another really popular model, which um, we're looking forward to showing people on board. And then we've got the 330 Express. So um, yeah, this is our most popular model out of the 28 different models that, that Grady White do. So I think what people love about it is the fishability, the fact that, you know, you can, with the enclosed hard top like that, you can fish it all year round. Um, and it's just a really good size as well. It's not too big where it becomes a big boat. Yeah, it's just that sweet spot we've found. Next to that, we've got uh, the 336, um, which is, you know, brand new redesign that, that Grady White have done on this model in the last sort of 12 to 24 months. Um, Chris is just getting off now with, with the Great Northerns. We've stocked the back of those bit they stocked the back of those big fish boxes with um, with beers for the event that we got tomorrow night. Again another super 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 popular model. Um, it's just yeah it just levels above anything else in its class in this size in terms of just the fit and finish and, and whatnot. So we're looking forward to having this on display. And then the last two boats that we've got here are both 37. So um, we've got the 370 Express, which is the, you know, the cabin express version. And then we've got the 376 Canyon, which, you know, is the center console version. The thing with these two boats, they've got the exact same hull design. Um, so the hull shape, size, everything, um, you know, come out of the same mold. It's just the deck that's different. So the Express, you know, you've got the ability to, to do, you know, multiple overnighters. Um, on this one and then with the 376 canyon yeah i don't think there's a bigger volume um, center console in the country um, and with the triple four two fives on the back and the big flared bow um, we've got it front and sun, front and center there for a reason because it is a real real showstopper we're gonna have a vip event tomorrow night as well which we're really really looking forward to i mean hannah who's you know our marketing manager she's done an absolutely amazing job with the stand you know we've already got you know Many, many compliments from a lot of different people talking about just the, the presence that, that, that they get and feel with all the, just the signage, the branding and the lighting and everything. So um, really excited for that tomorrow night. And to be honest, just excited for the whole show. It's what we, um, you know, what we love about the show is it's not just, you know, we're not just here just to sell boats or, you know, to, to really increase the brand awareness of the brands we're representing. We genuinely love being here. We're, you know, we're, we're all ultra passionate about what we do. The whole team is so, you know, to spend four days chatting with, with other, other boat owners or other potential boat owners, you know, about this sort of thing. It's really what, um, it's really what lights us up and keeps us going. And, you know, we manage to make sure that we have fun uh, whilst we're doing it as well which is just in alignment to, to what, what we're all about.